I've booked an Uber to pick me up and take me to Worcestershire Parkway Station. And the number plates come up and it says 1969. So I don't know what the hell is picking me up. Good afternoon. Uh, one person on YouTube said, Jeff, why don't you go and get a real job? So today I've gone and got a real job. I am a taxi driver. I'm a taxi. Um, I'm about to go pick up my first fare. I'm not driving a Tesla and I'm not driving a Prius or a hybrid Toyota. There's a hybrid Toyota taxi just about to go past. There it goes. I'm not in one of them. Um, I am in a 1969 Renault 10. And because it's just had a new ignition coil, new ignition leads, a new battery strap, new battery terminals, a new bit of wiring, new spark plugs, a bit of a carburetor clean, and a clean of the distributor cap, and a slight movement of the distributor, it's running exactly like a Toyota Prius, except it's got a whole load more character. Now my first fare is a man called Tony, you might recognise him as EV Carnage, and he said he's going to be underneath this motorway bridge, apparently that's where he hangs out. Tony does a bit of trade plate driving, and I think he's delivered a van, so I said I'd give him a lift to his next train station. So, I'd say roll the tape, what I mean is, roll the meter, you know, the taxi meter. Alright Tony! Hello mate! I'm your Uber! It's my Prius, Tesla. Brilliant! It's alright, isn't it? This is your taxi? This is my taxi. Well, yeah. I've got to admit... You, someone in my YouTube comments said, Jeff, you should go get a real job. You're my first fare, my first day. Brilliant. So this is definitely an Uber. Yeah, all insured. Good, because otherwise it's the worst episode of fake taxi I've ever seen. Be booked, be insured. That's what they say. Oh, wow. Someone... Your Uber. So, Worcestershire Parkway. Where are you yes, to, please. You're going home now? Yeah. And I may well not return before Christmas. Is that you done for the Christmas break? Well, I think so, yeah. Yeah? This is your last one? Well, I've got to do on Thursday, so I shan't be going anywhere Thursday, and then I'll be on over Friday, so What's Friday's that, the, out. The EV Carnage Christmas party? Uh, no, it's uh, self-employed losers who don't get invited to... Um, you want to go right? Uh, yeah, you do. Yeah, go on then. Oh, we can go right. I mean, yeah, it's not like you live here. Have you, have, you, have you got a train book? Are you on a time crunch? Yeah, 1358. Right, we best get going then. That's not the year. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably the year this car was made. I was trying to get some wheel spin, but it's not happening. So, um, yeah, being freelance, yeah, you just work on your own all year. Yeah. And then even when you work for clients as well, you, they, they never invite you to the Christmas party, even if you... Like, oh, I used, good Lord, no. I used to work freelance in an office, and I'd be the only one that didn't get a Christmas card. I'd well, be there almost every day. Oh, no. Right, no, so there's, uh, there's a bunch of us losers that are all self-employed. Yeah. So, um... We meet up Thursday afternoon before Christmas, yeah, and uh, have a Christmas do of our own. Love it. Uh, it's been twelve of us this year. Love it, love it. So, uh, if you were to round off the year, then what was the best and worst vehicles? What you drove? Best one, easy. Go on. XC40 milk float. The recharge. The recharge. Fast, aren't they? Unbelievable bit of kit. <laughs> I mean, I'd still never buy a milk float in a million years, yeah. but that blew my socks off. Yeah. 400 brake horsepower, yeah. and it drives like a proper car. Oh, I was totally impressed with that. Uh, so the XC40 recharge is number one. Yeah. Down the bottom, how long you got? You got the Vivaro E, yeah. uh, the Maxus E. That, I'd so probably say the Maxus E is the crowning turn in the water pipe. Someone sent me some photos of those Maxuses, right? at the dock where they come in and from china yeah they sent me the photos of underneath and i messaged back and i said how many under trays and bits of protection did you need to take off to get that picture because it was a motor it was a photo of the motors all exposed on the rear axle yeah and he said no oh. that's just how they are well I could not believe it i mean they've they've done the same no expense spent inside yeah are they terrible oh shocking shocking and i, I picked one up from telford somewhere i think yeah 65 miles that was it really yeah it's flat <laughs> the thing is as well i just been, i did a video this morning i was joking about doing a t-shirt that says straight to landfill right yeah and those maxuses straight to landfill oh yeah they're Shocking. terrible aren't they like Shocking. from brand new yeah yeah they're they're probably the worst i mean but they i don't find a decent van yet yeah so uh decent electric van Oh yeah, 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 you know, obviously. 
you've yeah. got the, the transit, the king of vans, yeah. but apparently not as good as a sprinter, according well, to the van men. According to the van men, yeah, that's right. I thought the long wheelbase high top transit was, yeah. was peak van. We go but, right here, don't we? Yeah. But then, at the same time, I don't really like the sprinters. No. I'm not a big fan of Mercedes. No. I'm, I've not had many on my channel either. Um, well, my missus won't let me buy them anymore because she finds them really uncomfortable because yeah. I made her drive one home from uh, Birmingham auction once. Oh, yeah. And uh, she got out. She was like a little cripple. So uh, I said, right, we shan't be buying them anymore then. Yeah. No, they're crap. I'm not having that. What about, um, do, you, do, you, do, you, do you do cars that aren't EV as well? What's the best thing you've driven that wasn't an EV? Anything that you thought, oh, yeah, I'll have a bit of that. Uh, my Alfa Romeo Spider. Um, yeah. My Alfa Romeo 159 2.4 Ti. Nice. Um, the Alfa Romeo 166 I bought in Usher. They're, they're all Alphas. Um, the yeah. 166 that I sold, I, I didn't even sell it. I basically gave it to charity. Oh, man. And now it's worth about 10 times what I sold it for. Yeah. Um, Those 166s are good looking cars, oh, aren't they? Oh, it, it was in royal blue too. Oh, oh beautiful. Nice. Um, and the Range Rover Velar, I don't like it, yeah. but, so this is not about the Velar, yeah. but it was in a Velar, yeah. so it could be any Range Rover, as long as it's got the cooling seat and seat massaging option. Nice. Because so the cooling nice seat option, when you put that on, it yeah. blows an icy blast of cold air right up your rectum. <laughs> oh man. And then you've got the seat massager in the back doing yeah. the snaky thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's as close as you're going to get to sex in a car. A friend of mine's got a Volvo XC90. Yeah. And he took me out in that the other day. Well, it was actually it was in March, but the year's gone quite fast. And he put the seat massager on. Mm. I found it a bit weird. Oh, it is weird. And you couldn't turn it off as well. It was on a timer. I was like, oh. mm, a bit odd. No, 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 the Range Rover ones aren't like that. But yeah. I drove a brand new Defender the other day. Yeah. Um, and that is superb. But how much are they? They're like, they... No, weirdly, yeah. this one was 65 grand. Was it? Yeah, compared to the Range Rover Vogue, or uh, the Vogue uh, Velar, which are, you know, six figures. Yeah. So yeah, I, I love a Defender every time. Right, so they um, The 330e, BMW 330e. Yep. Yeah. That was a bit mental. Um, I enjoyed that, but boy racer wise, mm. I picked up a Fiesta ST. Yeah, proper old school with mm. race mode on it, and I drove it in the wet. Just brings out the child. Oh, and it was popping and banging, <laughs> and and I was driving it just like a seventeen-year-old should drive it. Yeah, you're too old for popping and banging. No. Love no, it. no, you never be too old for that. Yeah, I don't think you're ever too old for driving like an absolute hooligan. No. That's the whole point, and that's why milk floats don't work. Because you, you go. Yeah. I think the one that got me, the first milk float video that you did, you were moaning about the little Peugeot electric one, and I remember you said the numbers on it, and you'd driven about twenty five feet and needed to charge. Oh, I did. And that, that was the first video I watched, and I subscribed to you, and I was like, no way, how can they be that bad? It's a two hundred eight. Yeah. Um, see, the problem is that my mate. I was the Persian dealership in Cornwall. Ah, right. <laughs> but I can't help it. It's not my yeah. fault. Somebody sent me a message the other day saying, he ain't going to be happy about this, you know, Tony. I said, oh, I'll sort that out when I see him in the pub. But, uh, yeah. That's the truth, though, isn't it? You can't help it. Yeah. As I keep saying, it's not my fault they're shit. No, exactly. And it's not just the Persians. I mean, you did anything at the bottom end of the range. Yeah. Yeah, and we're talking about anything that's not basically German. Yeah. It's crap. Yeah, and with say bottom end of the range, there's still 25 grand. Like that little E208, they're 30 grand new. Yeah. That's a lot of money. That's just, that's, that's, well, it's more money than, well, nobody, but nobody buys them, do they? They um, just lease them. No, they don't. I, I reckon, right, if we you get them on a two year lease and then yeah. they go back and then I want to know what happens to them after that two year lease. Because what happens is with all petrol diesel cars, yeah. they go on a three year lease, yeah. then they go back. They're refurbed and they're put out to two different auction companies, yep. both of which I'm registered with. Yep. Um, and then you buy them and you sell them on in the yep. second-hand market. Well, that's not happening with electric. No, they're not. Because nobody wants them. No. So there's strange things going on where... So where where are they? Well, they get they get moved around again, which is really odd. There's a guy on Twitter called Barry Crampton, and he's brilliant. You have time. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. And he is logging where these cars are going, and he's getting, like... 
So we'll do a post on Twitter and it's like, right, there's 25 electric whatever they are. They were all registered a year ago. Where have they been for a year? They've just gone on Oyster Trader with 13 miles on the clock. Where have they been? Um, they're not selling, so... On airfields, yeah. all over the country, um, in various locations that are best not reveal for security purposes, but they're everywhere and yeah. they're just parked up there. Amazing. And they get pre-registered. Yeah. So then that contributes to the sales. Yeah, exactly. Because then, then they can go, oh, look, we've sold a new car. Well, you didn't. You registered. Oh, it's registrations, isn't it? So they're yeah. incentivised for registration. Yeah. So then they can say, right, we registered a thousand cars. And so I would get... imagine there's a government incentive for registering every new EV. I don't That's know what it is, government. but I imagine there is because a lot of the uh, electric stuff goes to um, civil servants because yeah. they get it on their salary sacrifice scheme. Yeah. So it ends up costing them literally nothing. Yeah. But then it, it, it costs somebody something. Yeah. The yeah, it does, yeah, someone, yeah. You know, somebody's, somebody's yeah. paying somewhere. Someone, someone is paying. Yeah. But it's filling the place with an unnatural amount of EVs. Yeah. That everyone goes, oh, they're selling really well. Yeah. Well, yeah, but if you can have a Tesla for, you know, a £60,000 Tesla for £200 a month. Yeah. These Volkswagen ID buzzes as well, right? Because they can't sell them. The lease deals on them now are so good, they're starting, even I'm starting to think, oh, yeah, I could get one of them for well, £250 a month. I see you seem on 70% off the other day, and I thought, no. Yeah. But it, I quite like the ID buzz. It's quite a good-looking thing. No, because you, you then you're basically buying a modern version of the old transporter. Yeah. And the old transporter, and everyone goes, everyone goes whimsical about old transporters, especially in Cornwall, all the surfer dudes. And uh, it's like, oh, I, I, my mate used to have two vintage ones, and I yeah. just said, it's just scrap on wheels. They were. They were scrap on wheels. I yeah. mean, what are you going to do with it? Oh, I'm going to drive it. Well, don't drive it too far. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you've got more chance of getting further in a milk float than you have in an old transporter. I reckon you're And right. the ID Buzz is just the new version of that. Yeah, but pe people seem to be loving them, and these lease deals are getting cheaper. They might yeah, even be well, able I've, to sell it I've off. driven all the VW um, ID4 and yeah. ID3, and God, this shit. They've missed the trick, haven't they? Like they've killed the brand because VW should have done something decent. But the ID, the ID Buzz at least looks good. The others, they just look crap. Oh they? god, it, it, I described it in one of my videos. The ID Four as um, a tin of magnolia paint on wheels. Oh, they're terrible. It's like they it's forgot to design it. Well, yeah, and then you get in it, and it's. Uh... And there's bad inside. I, I'm, oh, I'm dead getting one. It's like sitting in a library, but a library with shit books in it. <laughs> Go on, then. What's your dream car? If I gave you a million pounds right now, what are you buying? Uh, Aston Martin Vantage. Yeah? What yeah. year? Like an 80s no, one? Or, no, no, new. New or, Vantage? Yeah, no. The, the Astons in the 80s and 90s are just four Mondeos. So, they weren't uh, built as well as the Mondeos. My mate bought a DB9 and I, he said, do you want to buy it off me? And I said, why? He said, because I ate it. <laughs> I said, why is that? He said, it's got this huge engine in it, but no technology. And he said, it just relies on skill. And I, and I don't want that. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, probably a, a DB12 or a... Yeah, it would be an Aston Martin anyway. Sorry, no, that, that'd be the dream car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's your, how's your Christmas and New Year shaping up? Well, tail end of December now. We winded down. Um, You've obviously got your freelance Christmas party. Freelance up. Christmas party Thursday. Um, where, are you, where are you going for that? Night out in Truro? Uh, no. Little pub called the New Inn in Tardreff is our local. Nice. Um, and uh, so there on Thursday. Saturday is Smudger's Do. You must have heard of Smudger's Do. Legendary, no. Because no. no, only 14 people go. Um, <laughs> but anyway, it's his do. Yeah. Uh, Christmas Eve, um, meeting a mate from the racing club on the beach at lunchtime, and then pub for a couple, and then home. Christmas Day home. Boxing Day, out singing. Oh, yeah. I always go out singing Boxing Day. Oh, good man. Um, proper old Cornish stuff. I like that. Uh, and then... 27th, Truro. Truro! Uh, mate's 40th, no, 40, 40 something, he's older than that. Oh, anyway, it turns out it's two wrestlers' birthdays on the 27th. Oh, okay. So it's a WWF theme. This your train coming in? Um, no. I'm banned from Weatherspoons in Truro. Well, that's a godsend. Why is that? Stealing a sofa. Did you actually steal it? Then? Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. What, just walked out with it? Well, I can't remember. It was a very, very bad night, big heavy university thing. I think I was driving the school minibus. The, like the university minibus. We had it on the roof. Yeah. It was one of them that's probably best forgotten. But I, No, I'm... no, because those stories <laughs> are the ones... Those are the best stories. We once nicked a picnic table from the pub. Love it. Because we wanted it for a party the following yeah. day. And then when we went back to the pub, and the landlord was going mental about somebody who nicked his picnic table, and we went, yeah, it's bloody terrible, that is. Yeah. Okay. I tell you what, we'll go and look for it. 
<laughs> no, it was, it was in my back garden. Free drinks. Yeah, we set a light to a can of tire weld that night. <laughs> oh man, you gotta try that. <laughs> tire weld. Like... It blew the fire out. It was that much of an explosion. Really? Yes. Yeah, that little, oh. little clear rose just went. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was like road running. I'll, I'll pencil that in for one of those boring days between Christmas and. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be empty. The other thing we used to do with the with the Falmouth University minibuses, we see how fast we could get it. You know, as you go down the A30 and you've got that McDonald's on the right, the Big Hill. And Burger Hill. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. But had a speed limiter on it, but if you could build up enough speed going up the hill and then knock it into neutral, you could get it up to 100 mile an hour. Yeah, you're a duck. Yeah, we're like 16 people in the back. Beauty. <laughs> Love it. Your train's about to arrive. Yeah. EV Carnage, go and buy your mugs. Merry Christmas. Have you got any mugs left? Or are they all sold out? Uh, I've got a few. I'm not a mug. I didn't buy any EV mugs. I like it. Yeah. Um, now we've oh, got these... right, this is like fake taxi. There's no exit, is there? Actually... How'd you get out? How long does it take Tony to work it out? He's stuck in. It's not even a bloody window! I oh, know, the window didn't work you either. You dirty... Get hey! Right, enjoy your train home. <laughs> Can you please leave me a five-star Uber review? I will do. I never leave Uber reviews, but on this occasion, I will. I don't know where you'd leave it. You can stick it wherever you, you like. They keep telling me to go get a real job. What do I want to do that for? No, what, what? When we can do this? I'll be terrible at a real job. I'd be sacked within five What's minutes. What's on the roof here? I oh, don't That's look at the roof. Something fell on it in a shipping container on its way over. Uh, it's from well, South Africa, isn't it? That's why you never see them in England, because they rusted away. But this one was from South Africa, so it was rescued. Merry Christmas, Jeff's viewers. See you later, Tony. Cheers, mate. Legend. Love Tony. He's all right, he is. Tony from EV Carnage, ladies and gentlemen. Right, that's it. That's my shift over. There you go. One shift. You didn't pay your taxi fare! No, I don't take cards. You can swipe it. Cash only in here, mate. Thanks for watching.